this segment, we're going to show you how to mount your machine. You need to find a place where you have power and water in close proximity. I've already taken the liberty to uh, use the screws that come in my installation kit and, and, and screw them at 16 inch centers. Typically, uh, most construction has studs every 16 inches, so you should be able to find uh, studs. If you're using lap siding, make sure that your screws are three inches below uh, the, the lap. And this is because the lid fits onto the machine and it drops down. So, uh, first thing we do, what, what else comes in the, in the kit is your hose bib adapter. You get a tube cap for winterization, tube plug for winterization, and you also have these anchors if you have to screw into uh, concrete, stucco, or mortar. You also have two sets of uh, rubber spacers. These thinner ones go at the top, generally in this area. Doesn't have to be exactly here, but just in this general area. And the thicker ones uh, go uh, uh, lower. Uh, and the idea is that the equipment would sort of rest at a slight angle like this when it's on the wall. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is pull the power cord out. We're going to get rid of this stuff. And we're going to go ahead and pick up the equipment. And we're going to hang it on the wall. You want to leave about one inch uh, of screw sticking out so you, can, you have plenty of room to get the uh, machine on. And then sort of push it up against the wall and then just snug it up. You don't want to get too tight. There you go. You see the lid. Fits on just like that. Okay, now we're going to make our final connections to the equipment. The first thing you want to do is flush your hose bib out. Make sure all of the dirty water has been uh, ejected from the pipes. You don't want any debris uh, getting into your system. That usually only takes a few seconds. Okay, we're going to turn that off. Then you're going to take your hose bib adapter. And it's got a three-quarter inch female hose fitting with a gasket. So you don't need wrenches or anything like that. Just hand tight, that's going to seal. Okay, you're going to turn it off. It's going to come down through the little deal. Okay, I've cut a piece of tube that is plenty long to uh, reach to the uh, hookup inside the machine. So, to install this, it's just like you do your nozzles or any of your other fittings. This is the push to connect fitting. We're just going to insert it all the way in. Push it in positively and you, you've got a good connection. It's not going to leak. Okay, now I'm going to run this tubing. Over here, there is a gap in the back of the equipment. It's about a, a half inch gap. This is where you're going to feed your line. And then when you're going to come in here, this little pigtail here with a plastic straight union fitting on it is where you connect your water. That. So now you turn on your water pressure. Let's go ahead and turn on our water pressure. Now you've got water pressure to the equipment. This is going to be is is already connected to my nozzle circuit. I've left plenty of plenty of tube to reach up the back of the equipment. Same slot. This elbow fitting right on top. It's a reducing elbow. It's three eighths on this side, coming out of a check valve, and then it reduces to a quarter inch. Same setup. You just push it right in, just like you would your nozzles or your tubing in the in for the field, and you're connected. The next thing you can do is plug your equipment in. You plug your equipment in. Your uh, display will light up and your water will start filling the tank. You can hear the water filling the tank at this point. At this point you can put your you can install your chemical jug. I had removed it just so you can see the water connections and the uh, uh, nozzle manifold connections. You want to insert this tube, the chemical dip tube, all the way to the bottom. And then all you have to do is pour your chemical concentrate in here. In this case we're using sector. So I'm going to open the lid. They have a foil on them so you'll need like a screwdriver or a knife or something to loosen this. In this container, your chemical jug will hold one gallon of fluid, which is twice 
the capacity of a 55 gallon drum. It's got graduated markings. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and test the system. Okay, so we're going to run a cycle called water test. You're going to press the menu button and then you're going to go to the up arrow and it's number 17. Press enter to start. So you press enter. And what that's doing is that it's actually starting to fill the line with uh, water. You are not injecting any chemical at this point. And what you want to do is you want to watch your gauge over here. Anyway, it looks like we're pressuring up fine. We don't have any leaks. If we had a leak, the water wouldn't keep up. So obviously the water's keeping up. We have we don't have any leaks. But this is a good time to walk around and make sure you don't have any leaks. If you're an amateur and you've never done this before, it's very possible you didn't push a nozzle in all the way, you didn't push a tube fitting in all the way, and this is a good time to go around and check and make sure everything's done properly. Okay, then you can come back to the equipment, press clear to quit. So we're going to press clear to quit. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to go. We have already decided that we don't have any leaks and uh, we're ready to go basically. Um, the system comes set with what we call factory default settings. Uh, it's in military time, so 1800 would be 6 p.m. Um, factory defaults are 6 p.m., 8 p.m., midnight and 6 a.m. So for 45 seconds. We're going to just keep it at those settings. Now we've already counted our nozzles and we have 40 nozzles in this setup. So what I'm going to do, this is important, I'm going to go to the menu button and I'm going to scroll to number three which says number of nozzles. I'm going to press enter and we need to use the arrows and hype this up to 40. This is so it'll, in, it'll inject the proper amount of chemical. All right, press enter and press the menu button. This is the run screen, now it will run. So, it'll run automatically at 6 p.m. tonight. And uh, when it starts running, it'll inject chemical. I'm just gonna show you ahead of time. This is the remote. This is the remote control that comes with the equipment. It's got five buttons on this particular remote. Some models have eight. Button one will activate a spray cycle. Button two will put it into a mode called water only. Button three will run a two minute spray cycle, and button four will put it into, uh, I'm sorry, button four puts it into water only, button two puts it into 24 hour suspend. So, okay, now this is the last thing you want to do is just tidy up the lines uh, going to the equipment. So they're kind of hanging loose there, so you want to use some fasteners and some screws and tidy those up. Uh, but other than that, you're ready to start killing bugs.